Hello, guys. Hello. Come in. You just saw this 10 seconds ago, but this is the next day. And this is a prime rib. Prime rib. That we seasoned, and we're going to fix on a rotisserie. And I've already got it laying in the sink ready to go on the old uh, spit, I guess we call it. Yeah. Gosh, she's looking pretty good. We seasoned it with house seasoning and some olive oil all over it. Okay, what I want to do is try to get them kind of centered. That is important on your Ronco rotisserie that it is centered so it won't be wompy when it's going around in circles. We don't want it wompy. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is come back and kind of tie it. Because I don't, like Sherry said, we don't want it flailing around. Um, cut me some string. Whoa, okay, look. <laughs> cut me some string and I'll go ahead and time, I think. Okay. Hello. I'm trying to remember. Does it matter? Which... Yes. So is this the side you just snapped on? Yeah. And it goes on that side. It goes on that side? Uh -huh. I never get that right. Okay. And then make sure that your meat is in the center. All right. We're so... going to close it up here. And we said, we roughly estimated that about three pounds. Yep. And of course, you won't be able to see, but it has it on here. The rib roast is 18 minutes a pound. So, uh, we calculated it. About. 54 minutes, roughly. Yeah. So, we're going to so, do an hour. Yeah. Start with an hour. I may end up having to go a little longer because I like to have a good uh, sear on the outside. But, of course, we will temperature it. And we like ours a little on the rare side, too. Yeah. But we're going to show you what it looks like in an hour. All right, check on it later. Guys, here's an update. It's probably 50 minutes in. It's getting close to being done. You can see the rotisserie is still spinning. Uh, we get a lot of questions on our first video about this oven and it is fantastic. We love it. And we're going to try to show more videos if you guys are interested. So if you see this video and you're curious of a certain type of food, put it in the comments and honestly, we will make it in the rotisserie. Alright guys, when you buy the Ronco rotisserie oven, it's going to come with these gloves. And uh, we use these gloves quite a bit around the house anyway. But you can uh, reach in, because this thing is hot. And you just do that, get it right out of there. And like I said, the gloves, when you have them, it makes those uh, super, super hot, dangerous items. It's not scary because you're actually using your hands to get it. And that looks delicious. Boy, I can't wait to cut into that. Yeah, that is fantastic. And we tied it off so it never fell off the spit. Uh, the main thing on meats like that is get you some kitchen twine and make sure you tie stuff because that that can cause a catastrophe when we first started doing the ronco you want me to get that when we first started doing the ronco um a few times like stuff would fall off the spit and that we learned a lesson buy a whole roll of the twine and tie it on there and it's not hard to do you'll you'll learn pretty easy and you'll get amazing results like this i mean my mouth is watering oh i can't wait i can't wait all right on the prime rib you'll have a bone you do want to have your sharp knife again and you're going to follow this bone oh. so that way you'll serve your meat and the bone will be gone 
really hot. Oh, do you need some tongs? No. Okay. I found another bone right here. Just kind of going around it there. Oh. So yeah. by her cutting it like that, it's going to leave basically the entire rest of it's just meat. Yeah, the boneless. And what what you can do uh, is save that bone. We've we've tossed it in soup beans before. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're not going to waste the bone either. There's a lot of flavor and a lot of meat and yeah. fat right there. So that's going to the side probably for some beans. But the rest of that is going to be meat. So now, now all of this is meat because you got rid of your uh, bones. Mm -hmm. And then since it's just literally going to be me and him, I'm just going to literally. Sometimes you do have to get in here and manhandle this thing. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Well, we're back. Look at that oh good looking gosh. piece of prime rib there. Mm -mm -mm. That looks really good. So now you're going to eat some green bean casserole. Look at that. Wow. Heard those onions just crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy. Still some onions. Mm. And then this is sweet potato casserole. Oh, wow. Goodness sakes. It's a hot one. Gosh. Wow. Look at that plate. That's a plate for that is king crazy. right there. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I know y'all are watching. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you try any of our recipes, let us know. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.